Before you can print out a shipping label, the items need to be in the box. The box needs to be on a scale. Before you process the shipment, the shipping tool you're using, UPS, FedEx, Indicia, ShipStation, whatever it is, needs to know what the weight of those items are, and in many cases needs to know what the items are, depending on where you're shipping it. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, Fishbowl expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Fishbowl Go to get everything packed up and ready so you can print out a shipping label. I want to take you to the Fishbowl Go screen and show you that I selected a setting, Always Show Edit Screen. You'll find this screen under Integrations, Fishbowl Go. Okay, so I have Always Show Edit Screen turned on. Now we'll go to the shipping screen and show you the order that we're going to pack. Okay, we've got Fishbowl Go ready to go. We'll tap the Pack button. We'll select the order we're going to pack. Click the Enter button or tap the Enter button at the top right hand side. Now we can start scanning. We've got ANBABL. We'll scan that. It says 743. Unfortunately, we can't fit that many in a box. So I'm going to type in 500 and then click Pack. All right, we've got our first box full, carton number one. Now, before we do anything else, don't get scan crazy. Click the Add button to change this to carton number two. Now we decide what we're going to put in our next carton. We'll say ANPIBL. Scan that, and 500 of those fit in that box. Click the pack symbol down at the bottom. Notice the numbers right here are decreasing. Decreasing, decreasing. That's what we like. Make sure we change the carton number. We've got two cartons full. Click the Add sign. Now we've got three cartons. We can probably fit both of these in that carton. So I'll click here and click or tap top right the Pack button. Hit Pack again. Once again, A-N-B-A-B-L. I can tap it or scan it, then hit pack. Okay, so carton three is packed. Now we need to pack carton four. Pack carton four. Carton four is a larger size and we can fit all thousand of these in. So we're going ahead and pack, pack. Then carton five is going to have 500 of these. Click or scan, whichever works best, then pack, it brings us to the edit screen, and pack. Go to the packing list. If you have the packing list connected or your printer connected to your mobile device, you can print out a packing list straight from here. So that order is done packing, and you'll notice over on the screen behind us, here's the magic that happened. This went into this box, this went into that box. Now, unfortunately, the default packing uh, type, the carton type, found right here under carton types, does not automatically grab in the mobile device. So the mobile device has its pros and cons, and the desktop has its pros and cons. Um, perhaps in a future version, Fishbowl will, will add the ability for the mobile device to pick the carton size. So right now we have our parts separated by cartons. Next thing we do is take the carton and put it on the scale that's plugged in to your shipping computer. Enter the package size or select from a drop-down of the package size if, you're, if your carrier software has that. And then, boop, process shipment. Now at that point when you process shipment, that will either uh, send the tracking number, weight, and cost back to Fishbowl, 
or depending on your integration it could also send the tracking number weight and cost plus process the shipment so there's different ways of setting up your connection from fishbowl to your carrier software this is lance with brando consulting fishbowl experts since 2006 thanks for joining us today on this quick and simple steps of using the packing feature in the mobile device.